Hi everyone, I am Mohammed Bilal and you are watching Ten Cedars Academy. So today in this lecture, I will tell you about Android option menu. So in option menu, what you will do is you can create your own option menu. So so in this tutorial, we will clear, create a simple menu with six menu items. Okay. When you click on a single menu item, a simple toast message will be shown. Like it's simply a toast message will be displayed on the screen. So there are some simple steps that whenever you are doing or creating a thing, there must be you must be going steps. And when you follow the steps, the things are quite clear and things are quite so easy. So in step one, what we will do is we will create a simple Android project. And give the project name as a uh, uh, that we are using an activity. Like I will say uh, here it's mentioned at its menu. Whatever you want to do as you wish. In step two, by default the system created an XML file. Yeah, it is system created an XML file in the resource menu folder that menus.xml, but it's in its previous version. So now on if you are using 3.0.1 that's the latest release what I am using so you didn't find any sort of menu.xml file so for this you have to create a menu.xml file okay so I will tell you how you do this so first we will go through the whole theory and then we will do perform the practical that's quite so easy thing okay <coughs> So in step 3, what is mentioned is uh, you have to open a menu.xml file and type the following code. In the following code, we are creating a single menu with 6 menu items. Okay, Each menu item has an icon and title for display the labels under menu icon. Also we have ID for each menu item to identify uniquely. So in Android, the main thing is the ID that whenever you want to mention, you must have the ID when you want to mention anything there must be an ID because everything is unique so the ID must be unique for everything so here you can see the code that is replacing the current menu.xml code in the following instead so whenever you will see by default menu.xml file is like there are some simple uh, setting file I will show you later and you will see and at that point you will understand it purely okay so here the thing is uh, our menu has items and it's one two three four okay so these are the items and here is the five okay so let's see what are the first item is the bookmark here are the titles to mention that what will really the names shown there okay so the title is bookmark and this is the icon I can came from the drawable folder there must be a drawable folder from where it just gets the icon okay icon dot book icon and score bookmark and here we have the icon and here is the ID so these three things are basic uh, in the tag of item so it mentioned a single row okay and we have the items how many we have six items bookmark save search share delete and the last is preferences so this is the simple code of creating a menu so in step forward say copy the appropriate images into one of the drawable folder run your application and see the menu item appears your main activity class should already be loading your images if it isn't then add the following code okay so uh, you created the menu and now you have to tell your activity that where is my menu you have to tell your activity okay I have this menu and you have to add this menu in your activity so for this for creating an act uh, for creating uh, you created a menu and now you want to add the menu in your activity so for this you must write this code it's like uh, three lines of code okay what you do is it's create an option menu it's create an option menu and import the menu whatever you have created the menu this r.menu menu is the folder that you created 
and order menu.main main is basically an xml file that you created which have six items and this what really is well is it's like a menu okay so it's just coming from here and it's return type is true this means this is a menu okay so now the next thing is uh, you have to click on the menu that if you want to bookmark the thing or whatever you have to do you have to go through the IDs so how you do this is in the step 5 that add the code to make the menu item work in the following code each menu item is identified by its ID in switch case statement so basically mostly like uh, people use switch statements instead of if else conditions like switch statements are like uh, item if there is an item like you are seeing here on option item selected method so this method is basically used for selecting a menu whatever menu you are selecting so in item we have an id of menu so here it is getting item dot get item id and if it is menu and score bookmark here you will see r dot id dot menu and score bookmark if i click this id if i click on this menu button or, or whatever this row it just display this bookmark is selected and it returns true so here the thing is quite so clear so here we have other cases like menu and score save menu and score search menu and score share menu and score delete menu and score preferences and in last we are just returning the object selected item Okay, so this is the whole code and in last the sixth step is run your application again and notice the message that get displayed for each of the menu item so this is the whole theory so now we will go and we will see how we create a menu practically so I installed uh, Android Studio and I am using the version 3.0.1 so I just opened it here and I will show you here's the thing app and go in the source folder you will see here this is the menu okay I already created it but don't worry about this thing if I delete this menu uh, let me delete this menu so I will create it again and it's so awesome I have to delete this menu so I'm deleting it come on go on okay so I'm deleting it so okay so now you are seeing that we have no folder of menu so now what we must do is we have to create a folder for menu so how you can create this folder so how we create this android resource directory click on it android resource directory and go here and then just change its name okay and then you have to click on ok button when you click on ok button you will see the menu appears here okay so now what you will do is you have to create a menu resource file okay uh, wait let me do this again what you will do is you have to create on click on new and then menu resource file okay and then just put in name menu underscore main and then you have to click on ok button and when you click on the ok button what you will see here is the xml file will be shown here of menu just wait for the later time and you will see it. here is our menu underscore main so our three steps almost four steps are cleared and so now what we will do is just double click on this okay things appear just click on the text and you will see here you will see here this is the by default menu okay so now it has no items here you can see here in the screens too okay so we have no items here so what we if 
there is any item here let me just copy and paste the code uh, let me just copy and paste the code and I will show you how these things are working so just copy this thing just copy few items not all no need for this thing just copy these items okay just copy them and then just paste them here okay so we have no icons here so I just I'm just removing this thing okay so no worry about this thing really no worry about this thing now you will see here are you seeing this this is a bookmark save and search okay so our menu is created so now what we are going to do is we have to call these things how we can do this thing so there is our main activity here this is my main activity just forget about these things and just focus on this method that I already told you about this thing okay this is our main method uh, sorry our create option menu method and here is our menu what we will do is menu underscore main okay so now what is doing is it is getting its menu so now the second method is missing so I have to write the second method but uh, what it will do is it has to create must create uh, So my second method is missing okay on selected option menu method so I'm just copying that method from my code uh, so where is here is the method okay so just copy the first few cases here okay just copy them just copy them and just paste it here and then just quotations okay things are missing sorry for this and you'll see here when this thing is cleared here okay so when this thing is seriously cleared here just so alert message no need for this thing bookmark is selected uh, okay fine with this thing so are you saying that I am just resolving the issues whatever the issues are here okay. so just clear the things okay. so just clear the things I hope you are understanding if you have any issue please let me know and I am sure so now what the issue is we have some missing return statement okay so I am just putting the return statement so no this is not the real return statement the return statement is this okay uh, the default return statement whatever you want to write here is just write down here okay so here it goes just remove this default no issue with this and that's all that's all that's all about the menu so what it will do is when you cl click on the menu and score bookmark what it do is it just click and say okay this is bookmark the bookmark is selected so this is all and I hope you enjoyed this and if you have any issue any query about the menu or whatever the Android thing is what you really want to learn about Android I will tell you teach you everything whatever you want to do please uh, do subscribe for more videos 